Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? I am Jeff Grant Media, and today's real user review, we're gonna take a look at my a Brave Star Salvage 16 and a half ounce uppercut true straight fit jeans. Now, Brave Star did send me these jeans as a sample for review, but all the opinions in this video are mine and mine alone. I did not share this content with Brave Star prior to publication. They will see this when you do. So I've now been wearing these a month. I think I have, I'll have to check my fade log, but I think I have 24 out of 30 days wearing these jeans and I've worn them for just about everything you could imagine. So I feel like out of that 26 out of 30 days of wear, I've got a pretty good grasp on the fabrics, the materials, the fit, the feel, the finish, the wear of these jeans. So these are the Uppercut, which is a 16 and a half ounce Japanese selvage denim that is cut and sewn in California. Now, before I forget, because I always seem to do this, I am five foot nine, roughly 175 pounds, and I wear an American 32 by 32. And these are the 32 waist in Brave Star because their waist sizes do correspond with American waist sizes, which is actually a 32 is actually a 34 and a half inch of circumference in the waist, but 36 length uh, because it seems most, not just Brave Star, almost all salvage denim seems to only come in like 36 lengths. Now, one thing I will say is always, always check your size chart of any salvage denim, no matter the brand, no matter if it's pants, jacket because they will vary differently even within brands between cuts of jeans so very very important that you always check size charts to correspond with what size you actually wear all right so how have i been wearing these jeans well for everything i videographer for a large corporation and it's warm out so we're doing a lot of shoots so i've been wearing these to the office on shoots Shoots vary from very simple training videos to where I'm not doing much besides monitoring a camera and a tripod to some a couple bending over shots to get some uh, close-ups to running after units in the hot sun, standing on a uh, blacktop in what is now 90 degree weather with that, you know, probably 110 beating off that blacktop. I've worn these on the scooter. I've worn these to work building a table that I've been working on for months that I kind of just started and then stopped and finally started working on. I'm almost done with finally. I took these off-roading, so I got them a little bit muddy. So I've worn these in a wide variety of temperature ranges and just about any situation that I would personally find myself in. And in all of those situations, I wore these jeans as I would wear any pair of jeans if they were $138 pair of jeans or if they were a $30 pair of jeans. And with all of that varying use, I'd like to talk about the materials used in these jeans. So these jeans now have 26 days of solid wear and I've honestly probably worn them more than that. I threw these things on in the morning a couple times when it was chilly to take the dog for a walk, but I didn't count that as a wear because I only had them on for like, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. But this material, I will say thus far has been the stiffest out of any of the Brave Star materials that I've had. I started with and have the most wear in the Ironside Golden Handshake Jacket. I've also been competing in the Redline Rally with the 23 ounce gauntlet jacket. And I can say that out of those three materials, the uppercut is definitely the stiffest and feels like it's taking the longest to break in. But because of that, we're actually seeing some really good fading going on pretty quickly because this material is quite stiff. Now, I don't wanna say that it's ridiculously stiff and rigid. It is breaking in nicely. It has softened up quite a bit since I got it. I think it still has a ways to go before it really loosens up and feels like that worn in pair of jeans that you've had your whole life. But I have only been wearing these for a month now. And handling them now, I can feel that they definitely broke in and softened up quite a bit from when I got them. But out of the three materials I've had from Brave Star, this is certainly going to be the stiffest and the one that is taking the most work to break in. But because of that, we're getting all of these nice fades pretty early on. And this will segue into my first soak, which came much earlier than I had anticipated. It was in that initial like 85 degree heat wave that kind of hit us. I got these jeans right around that time. And I found myself outside on the blacktop filming product coming in and out of a vehicle for an extended period of time. And I will say the back of the knee started to chafe the back of my knee. So after two days of wear, cause I was wearing them outside for a couple of hours, I was very hot, I was very sweaty. I did soak these early on to try to get some of those starches out to try to loosen them up quite a bit. Let's take a look at that. So 
So we've now been soaking for a little over an hour and the water does actually look fairly clear from here. There is a little bit of brownish yellow down through here. You can kind of see a little at the end there. I suspect we'll see a lot more once we kind of pick the jeans up and they kind of just start to ring out. Oh yeah, there it goes. them just a little bit. And then you can see my water got a lot more yellow. Just agitating these things a little bit is really helping get that starch out. Now you can really see how dark that water got. And again, this is all starch that came out of there. This isn't dirt, this isn't grime. That's all the starches that help the material lay flat to be cut and sewn and to make them look pretty when they're all folded up and everything. Now, I'm pretty sure that hanger ain't gonna last, so I'm gonna go get a better hanger. And I'm just gonna leave them out here to drip dry because it's still about in the mid 90s and it's pretty warm out here. So these will potentially be dry by uh, later on tonight. If not, if I leave them out here, them sure will be dry by the morning. And that initial soak did remove a lot of those starches and loosen up the jeans quite a bit. So it did make them a lot more comfortable to wear and I did not get any more chafing behind the knees. Now, fit, feel, finish. Again, these are the 32 length jean and all salvage, it seems like, comes in 36 length. Now, one thing I would like to point out that Brave Star, I did not opt for the option. Um, but Brave Star does offer hemming services for like $15, which is great. That's a fair price. You don't have to go anywhere. So you're not driving, spending gas money, spending time. And they do chain stitch them. So if you want to get these hemmed to be shorter, so you don't want a cuff at all, or you want to have a single cuff, because I have to double or triple cuff. Right now, these are triple cuff, depending upon what shoes I'm wearing. I've been wearing sneakers because it's been quite warm. So I've not been wearing boots as much. So I've been triple cuffing these but Brave Star does offer a hemming service, so they will hem these, change the system, and I think they, I believe they add a half an inch to whatever um, length you give them, so you have enough room to cuff them. So that's a huge benefit that for an extra 15 bucks before your jeans even arrive to you, you can already have them custom tailored to meet your size specifications. Now, these are the true straight fit jean. Check your size chart again, because one thing that I did not think of, 100% my fault, not Brave Star, not the jeans fault. I looked at the waist and the opening. I did not take into account that I have been running and rucking nearly every single day. And if I'm not doing that, I'm at least walking two times a day. So I'm walking like three miles a day with the dog. So my legs have gotten bigger. I should have taken that into consideration. I noticed it prior when I was taking other jeans off. My calves made it a little harder for me to get my legs through or out of my pants. I did not take into consideration the thigh width. Now, if you're not a runner, this doesn't affect you at all, but because I am a distance runner and I have been rucking to mix it up, also again, I walk the dog two times a day when I'm not working out, my legs are fairly big. Also, I grew up skateboarding, snowboarding, rollerblading, biking, so generally my lower half of my body has always been the muscular half of my body. I should have opted for the strongman fit instead of the true straight, the thigh in the straight fit is 12.125 inches, which for me is like a tiny bit too small now. Now, had I worn these jeans probably three, four months ago, they would have been completely fine, but they're a little snug in the thigh for me because I work out quite a bit. I run, I run a lot, I'm rucking. And again, I grew up doing physical activities like that, skateboarding, rollerblading, biking. So my legs have always been, I, my arms, there's nothing. My legs have always been the muscular part of my body. So I didn't take that into consideration when I was looking at my measurements. I was only looking at the waist and the leg openings because I wanted the leg opening to be a little bit wider to accommodate a variety of boots because I do wear a lot of Wellingtons and Roper boots in the winter when I can 
wear leather further up my leg. Uh, so I wanted the opening to be a little bit bigger to accommodate my boots. I did not take into the thigh measurement. So now in the future, I will get something that for me is closer to a 13 inch uh, because I, I do have my big thighs and I have big calves. That's my fault. But other than that, the fit is great. The, the waist fits perfect. Actually, the waist might be a little bit too big on me. Um, so I have always been wearing a belt. I generally wear a belt anyway, but I have always been wearing a belt. Uh, I love the the waist fit me perfectly fine. I didn't have any restrictions. I didn't feel snug. It didn't feel tight. The only snugness I had, it was initially, it, and they've loosened up quite a bit now. I really only notice the thighs now when it's super hot outside. I'm getting sweaty, but you'll notice that with any pair of denim jeans when you're wearing them because when you start wearing jeans and it's 95 degrees outside, you start sweating, they just stick to you. So honestly, now that they've loosened up and broken in quite a bit, I don't notice it nearly as much, but initially they, they were a little stiff in the thighs and a little bit tight, but they're breaking in nicely. But other than that, the opening has been great. I have worn these with a variety of boots before it got super, super hot. So the leg opening, I did test fit them too as well with my Wellingtons, which is my widest shaft. They fit over those, no problem. I didn't have that bulkiness at the top. Sometimes if your jean is too narrow, you can see the top cuff of the, the shaft of the boot sticking out and it just looks bad and it looks dumb. Don't have that with the true straight. They fit over my jeans perfectly fine or over my pants and over my boots perfectly fine. Waist was really good. And the overall, the materials, as I said, they are a little bit harder wearing. They're a little bit stiffer. They're wearing in really nice. And because they're stiffer, I am getting some nice fades. And I was getting fades pretty early on. But overall, the fit has been, other than the thigh for my personal body type, again, my fault, not Brave Star, not the jeans. I should have looked at the size chart a little more carefully and thought about my fact that I've been running and my legs been getting bigger. They've been fitting really, really well. Uh, I've been wearing the hell out of these, you know, as you should with your raw or salvage denim, wear them all the time. I have not washed these yet. I have only soaked them one time. Um, I'm probably going to cold soak them again in the next couple of days because it, I wore them yesterday on a shoot and it was quite warm. So they're getting uh, a little stinky. So they need to be cleaned out quite a bit, but they've been wearing like iron. They've been breaking in nicely. They're, they are loosening up after about a month. They're, they're fitting really, really well. Again, very happy with the fit of the waist. A lot of times, even when I buy my standard 32, 32 in American sizes, the waist, it varies so much. I've gotten a 32 and I've measured them and they're like a 31 waist, um, usually from Amazon, which is good because I can simply return them without any questions. But I don't know how many times I've gotten a 32 inch waist that hasn't even been a 32 inch waist where an American 32 should be a 34 and a half inch waist. I digress. These are, the fit great. They're very comfortable to wear, wearing like iron. The finish is great. The denim is wearing really, really nicely. Even though I'm getting some really nice fades, they don't look worn or beat up and I can still wear these into the office. And since I've just said fades several times, let's go ahead and talk about the fades of these uppercuts. We'll start with the front and work our way down and around. And we're gonna start with my belt, actually. We are getting some decent fading and wearing on the edges of my belt. I have only been wearing this belt with either a pair of shorts or these jeans. So all of the indigo you see on this belt is bleed from my jeans. And once we open up that belt, we can see some of the highest touch points would be the button and the fly. We're actually seeing a bit of a sheen on the material from the leather belt rubbing on that area. And if we pop the button open, you can see underneath, we're getting a little bit of fade, both from me opening and closing the fly of the jeans and just from the, each side of the material rubbing against each other. Then going down to the pockets across the front here, we are seeing some nice whiskers forming both across my upper thighs and across the top of the pocket area. If we look over to my left pocket, you can see a cell phone fade forming here because as hard as I try, I am a creature of habit and I continuously stick my cell phone in my front left pocket. So we have that sometimes unpopular cell phone fade. Sliding down to the thighs with the naked eye, we can see a little bit more white popping through here from where, but it's not necessarily noticeable through the camera lens. But if we go below that to the knees, we could certainly see my knees are starting to fade quite a bit. You can see where I'm bending down, both playing with Miss Hazel Fantastic and mostly when I'm at work, when I'm kneeling down to get a shot. Coming down to the shin area, we are seeing a bit of creasing going on, but not really much fading happening. And if we go down to the cuffs, you can see my multiple cuff marks here where we are seeing some fade lines happening. 
where each of those cuffs are taking place. And if we look on the inside of the jean, we are also seeing a little bit of wear and a little bit of fade from where each of those crease marks are from the cuffs. Now, if we go to the most unflattering of areas, the crotch region, we can see quite a bit of fade happening here. That is from, you know, my thighs rubbing against each other as I'm walking, as I'm sitting down, standing up and moving around generally, we are getting quite a bit of wear here, which is a high contact, high touch point on just about any garment that you wear. Once we flip the jeans over on my back right pocket, you can see a nice wallet fade forming there. And then if we move to the top of the pockets, the inside top of the pockets, as well as the center seam and the bottom belt loop, we are seeing quite a bit of white coming through because these are all high contact points from when I'm sitting down, coming down lower to the bottom of the pockets in the seat, we are seeing some creasing and fading both from that crotch area and a bit of fade and creasing coming from the seat as well. Sliding down to the back of the knees, we are seeing some really good honeycombing going on on these jeans. This again happened quite quickly because they were a bit stiff at first and I was doing a lot of moving in a lot of hot weather. So these creases got soaked with sweat and worked in really early on wearing these jeans and they kind of just set from there and never came out. Moving down to the cuff area, you can see again the creasing from each of the layers of cuffs that I've had, and it appears there might be some stacks trying to form on these jeans when I'm doing a double cuff and wearing boots, but they're not coming through too clearly, and it looks like it's more creasing than fading going on. But all in, all said and done, do I think that the Brave Star Selvage 16 and a half ounce true straight fit uppercut jeans are worth your $138? And yeah, I think they're worth every penny of 138 bucks. Your average pair of salvage jeans is gonna run you like $300. These are half or less of that price. They're made in America. The material is wearing really, really well. They're breaking in nicely. Again, the stiffest I've had out of the three materials I've had from Brave Star, but they have other materials, they have other cuts, they have other finishes. But the, uh, the uppercut is wearing really, really nice. It's showing some nice fading but they're not looking worn or shabby, so I can continue to wear these to the office. They're wearing well, well, they're breaking in nicely. They did loosen up quite a bit from when I first got them. Personally, I probably should have got the strongman fit just from my personal body type, but I did not take into consideration my thighs when I was looking at the jeans. So when I said true straight, I was looking at the waist and the leg opening, not the thigh. My error, not Brave Star, not the jeans, nothing like that. But they've stretched out, they fit me fine. So yeah, they're wearing great, they're looking great. I'm showing some really good fades really quickly, which is something all of us really want because I'm not the only impatient one out there. I wanna see the fades like immediately. So because they're a little bit stiffer, they were showing the fades really, really quick. So they're showing your fades quickly. Uh, and again, they're wearing well. I've worn these in every situation. I did not baby them. I didn't go change my jeans when I knew I was gonna be staining this wood down here and uh, cutting everything and, and using uh, the, the table saw and the circular saw and the miter saw. I just kind of, I had these on, I kept them on, I did the work, I brushed them off, they looked fine. So yeah, they're worth it. They're wearing well, they're fitting good, they're looking great. So yeah, if you're looking at the Brave Star uh, Uppercut True Straight, I'd say snag a pair. If you're uh, if you're a runner, maybe go with that strongman fit just because you're gonna need that extra room in the thighs. But other than that, my error not theirs. I've been very happy with all of the Brave Star products. They're all a very, very solid price point. They're made in America. Their customer service is pretty good. They get back to me, if not immediately within like a day. So customer service is on par. Price point is amazing for selvage denim. And again, all of this stuff is cut and sewn in California. So can't beat that. American made products for a very fair price, a lot cheaper than a lot of the imported products. So there you go. If you like this video or any of my other videos, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Smash that big red button and ring that bell right next to it so you get notifications next time I post a brand new video. Good night. Mm -hmm.